a joy. It's, it's heavenly coming back up here. It's, it's joyful and it's, sometimes it's painful, but most of the time it's joyful. There's always the reminders of how it could have been in the way it is now, how it should have been in the way it is now. You know, I wish I was coming up here to watch my son play baseball, not his friend. Well, my wife, Sheila, and myself and Matthew were three. Mm. This is the TV. What'd you have for breakfast? Bacon and our sausage. From the time he was born until until the time he went into the Navy, we did everything together. Matt loved the game so much, and uh, all his best friends were going to be out there playing. Kids that he played ball with all his life. They asked me if I wanted to have an honorary at bat. I said, Yeah, I'd love to have. So, it gave me kind of like a a purpose to lose some weight and get in shape. Now I'm just hoping I get a single today, at least a single. I'll be swinging that bat, Gee, baby. There you go. <laughs> All right, on time. Ah, yeah. <laughs> good. There I you can't go. wait to get that bat in my hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping his foot nailed. He took his jersey from last year. He basically retired it. The little plaque on the bottom says, in love and memory of Matthew M. Flacco, November 29, 1979 through September 11, 2001. Forever remember the smoking guns. Yeah, I'm right. Thank you. Three guns. Go top of the line. 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 It's strange not seeing Matt on third base. Matt was about eight when he started. And he played Little League. And Babe Ruth, American Legion, and softball. We just start the season off. Matt, Mike, and Matt actually spent most of their weekends playing ball. When, as, as Matt was younger, going up until he went to high school. One, two, three, guns! Uh, he comes up every Sunday. He doesn't miss a game. He's kind of like his son. I think it's that's why he does it too. He's not trying to miss one game. It helps him out a lot. It definitely does. You know, he has fun with us. You know, we've always got along with him. So, and he knows. He tells me like, you know, we're the closest thing he's got to Matt. I love him. And I think he misses his wife a lot. Give me a hug, sweet. You know, he don't want to be selfish and go down there and help himself down at the Pentagon. I mean, it's a lot of wear and tear on. Like, but it means a lot to him, his wife and the Pentagon. And they're all going to go party. It means a lot to me to get my ass to work tomorrow. I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go anywhere. <laughs> it's 2.24 a.m. It's always tough going back and leaving my wife alone like that. But she's happy. She's happy that she had his jersey on with his number on. She's happy that they won a division again. Playoffs start next week. So I'll be back up again for them. Matt was only in his office for three days. He just got off the night shift. He was on, he got off the night shift and started day shift on Monday. Mm -hmm. And Tuesday it happened. But after September 11th, what you gotta do is you gotta find a purpose. You want every American mother and every American father that has anything to do with a, a, a child, you want them to, to hug them and to raise them and to go home every night and find out what their life is all about. And in so doing, the rewards are many. Kid needs a new pair of sneakers and you need a new fishing pole. It's a simple choice, buy the sneakers. A child is always a child. He'll always be your child. So you have to sacrifice. Even nowadays, I still worry about, you know, how this is all gonna come, come about. Because now he's doing this, he's working on this job. Uh, I guess to get some closure, but then when he realizes that didn't bring his son back, it's gonna happen then. And then I'm gonna have the whole, the whole, uh, the whole RV detailed, you know, cleaned up real good, and we'll put it up for sale after September 11th. Go back home. Seems so long since I've been gone. I want to go home to the place where I belong.